Hey, RDA family, how are you doing? Um, I have actually delayed making this video. Um, I've been thinking about it for a few days, and to be honest, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, do this video, but oh, I just keep getting this knock, knock, knock on my soul or conscience or brain or whatever, saying no, just make the video because you know someone maybe needs to hear this. Um, and I didn't want to make the video because I didn't want to sound weak or um, like I was giving up hope or um, let anyone down or anything like that. But I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I have been from the start, uh, so I'm just going to continue doing that. And uh, when I feel something like overwhelming, like I'm feeling now, then for sure I'm not the only one. So I'm going to talk about it so that you don't feel alone if you're feeling the way that I am at the moment. And that is... Oh, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. I'm feeling a little bit defeated. Uh, I'm feeling for the first time in my life, uh, sorry, no, for the first time during starting this whole pushback um, two and a half years ago, I'm f I've, I've had feelings of giving up. I've had feelings of packing it all in. And, you know, I see these things happening like the CDC 15 to zero um, voting for the, for the uh, COVID you know what's the COVID you know what's to be implemented to so that all children have to have it before going to school and it's like there's all this proof out there it's just like it's it's just undeniable any which way you look at it and they're still just going ahead and sometimes I just feel really like you know Goliath and uh, David and Goliath and I'm just like are we gonna have the same ending as that are we is there even a happy ending for us you know, maybe God wants everything to go really, really bad. Maybe we need to learn a really hard lesson and nothing we do is going to change it. You know, and I've had these thoughts. I've had them a lot over the last week, especially. A questioning, is anything I'm doing worth it? Um, you know, are we ever going to have that one idea that changes everything? You know, um, are we strong enough to push back against this? You know, I've had all of those thoughts and... I'm a human being. I'm not always optimistic. I'm not always in a good mood, obviously. Jail affected me. Um, being discriminated against affected me. Um, being shot at with rubber bullets affected me. All, all of this affected me just like it did you. And I'm so sick of fighting. I just like, there are these moments where I just want to, I just want to go back to living where I used to live from one dinner party to the next or from one party to the next or I would just be like oh I'm bored today I'll just uh go to my friend's place or I'll just walk around the park or you know I'm I miss having conversations that aren't political like I miss I miss just talking about stupid things I don't do that anymore I I don't even know who I am without COVID I, I don't know what I was like I almost forget who I was before that and it's it's um it's really stressful and it's it's hard to like just go and do normal things um, when we know all this stuff and it's just we don't look at anything the same anymore we, we question everything um, you know and we're watching people getting hurt and manipulated and it's oh, it's just so hard and I'm gonna leave on a good note I promise but I'm just telling you the truth that I feel it too and the freedom movement is changing things aren't as desperate so there's not as many reactions, there's not as many likes, there's not as many views, there's not as many donations. And it's okay. That's actually in a way a good thing. It means that we're not needed right now because people think things have gone back to normal. Um, but it's a shift. There's a shift. And we have to be flexible. And I don't, I'm glad that, that we're not needed as much. It, it means that people aren't going through as much pain. That's a fantastic thing. But you have to reinvent yourself or you have to figure out a different way to, to do things. And a lot of people in the freedom movement are going through this t turmoil right now because there was this beautiful moment in, in, in our history where we all came together and it was this organic protest movement and we were all so passionate and so inspired and, um, you know, we were on the right side of it, you know, and... Um, that, that, that kind of has gone uh, because people think things have gone back to normal. You're just never going to get, you're not going to get the numbers. You're not going to get the same feeling. You're going to get the diehards that, that, that are, that are going to be there anyway. And that's great. Good on them. But the, the feeling is different. 
the community groups are not as active because people are they're busy with their life again um, and people don't need community groups as much. Um, people have stopped searching out alternative ways to do things. And this is all fine, by the way. There's nothing wrong with this, but I'm just pointing out the obvious. This is actually a good thing, and I hope it stays like that. However, I do think we need to keep these networks available, open, sorry, because I don't think it's over. And anyone watching this probably agrees that it's, it's not over. Um, so everything that we've put in place, when something big happens, we're ready. We are ready. So my message to you is we are in a lull. And I don't care what the last time I made a video like this, the mainstream media wrote about it like, oh, the freedom movement struggling. No, no. The freedom movement did exactly what it needed to do when it needed to do it. There is no, this isn't a business. This is a duty. It's, it's not a business. It, if, if RDA disappears, if the freedom movement disappears, that means we have our freedoms back. That'll be a good thing. So I don't care what anyone says. All right. I'm not upset that things are changing. But they are. And so my message is that the communities that you made, the friendships that you made, um, you know, just keep them there. But don't get disheartened if people aren't as reactive or if they're not getting back to you as much or if not as many people show up to your protests or not as many people watch your videos. Don't get disheartened because they're there when the time is right. And what I think is happening is... This time is, well, I've been saying that it's, it's, it, it differentiates the boys from the men, okay? This is just a saying, right? With any venture or whatever, there's a lull and, and we question ourselves and we wonder if it's all pointless or whatever. Um, but we're being asked to have faith. We're being asked to push through those feelings of doubt and believe that we're doing something important here, not just for us, but for the future. And that... We're being tested right now. We're being tested to see how much we really care about freedom for, for other people and ourselves. And we're being told to just have faith and just be patient, but keep doing the things that we're doing that keep those networks open. So it's not all, it's not all bad. And um, I'm thinking of different things to do um, that, you know, fill that part of my soul that, you know, is feeling a bit laxed at the moment. And I'm thinking about, um, you know, downsizing certain things or just changing things. And we are, we are changing things. I mean, we have, uh, we're, we're putting together a festival in Brisbane with workshops and expos and kids activities and music. And it's like a six hour all day event, food trucks, things like that. So we're, we're evolving um, into different things because to be honest, I'm really sick of speeches. I am I got asked to speak at, a, at an event recently and I, I declined it because I, I've got nothing left to say. Like, it just seems like we're just, <laughs> yeah, because uh, it, it's like uh, we almost need a new fight. But if there isn't one, that's okay as well. Like, we should just be calm and happy with the fact that more people are comfortable than they were before. And that's a really, really good thing. Um, so, so. I guess I'm giving myself a pep talk at the same time as you to not feel disheartened that everything that we've done, we've done with the best of intentions and we are planning for something that we don't know yet. We are. Those networks, the global networks that we now have, we're planning for something. We just have no idea what it is and we're being asked to have faith and trust that everything we did was worth it and it will, it will result in something. And... Um, I believe that when something big happens or when the freedom movement needs us again or needs you again or we need each other, I should say, we're all going to be there and it's going to be just like before. But I also hope that it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't need to happen because, you know, what, what if this is the end? What if we do get our freedoms back, right? It, I mean, it'd be great. I, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it did happen, we, we're going to need to reinvent ourselves and do something else with, else with our lives. And wouldn't that be fantastic? You know, we could go hiking again and camping and talk about the weather and, you know, marshmallows or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, I, I hope you guys appreciate me being open. I hope uh, I didn't rant too much, but I just felt it. I just had to make this video and um, it wasn't planned, so I did repeat myself a bit. So sorry about that. Um, but I'll see you guys soon. And 
I'm never going to give up, just so you know. Like, I'm never actually going to stop doing this. It's just going to evolve and change. That's all. So uh, have a good weekend, guys.